What's up guys, Mist here. I'm gonna do another run that's live commentary, but I have a pretty good topic to talk about in this video. I should have honestly made this video a long time ago, like ever since it happened. So as you see in the title, the real reason why Legacy ended. So for the new people, I'm gonna talk about what Legacy was. It was a team I was in, it was about at 20K and obviously it ended. And near the end of it, I was actually the owner of the team. Fun fact, we actually had a lot of FaZe members managing our team. The biggest one was FaZe Rain. He did promotions then back in the day. Fourth. Oh, split quad feed. Okay, okay. I'll take that. But the owner at the time named Dev actually paid for all the promotions. We had two of our Team Taj's uploaded on like a big channel. It's some like COD channel that uploads like Team Taj's and stuff. I was only in one of them, I'm pretty sure. And the one I was in actually got a lot more views. I think it has around like 300,000 views. So I'll play that right now. The one Team Taj I was in was really sick. It was edited by FaZe Mancat. I don't even know if he's in FaZe anymore. I'm not really sure. So I'm gonna get to the reason why it ended. So to be honest, I wasn't really owner for that long of a time. I think it was like a couple of weeks. So basically what happened, Legacy Dev, which was the owner at time, left and then he gave it to another like leader named Mur. He made me an owner. I think he like quit or something or like took a break. So like I was all happy. I was owner and stuff. So at the time I picked up my friend Blur to Legacy. I thought he was really good for the team. So I picked him up. So he had enough clips for his episode so I got that dealt with. So I got an editor to edit it, which was Tempo. So after Blur got his episode done, we posted it to the channel, of course. And everything was just going great. And then Dev, which was the old owner who gave us all the stuff, he basically like quit. So Dev was basically the original leader who just like started Legacy. And like I said before, he gave the ownership to Murr after like he quit and then Murr gave the ownership to me. So I was basically the one who owned Legacy. Like it was basically my team at the time. So Tempo like comments on the video that he like edited it. I'm not really sure. I don't know if this is really accurate. Tempo, if you're watching this you could like correct me i don't know if you watch my videos so dev replies to one of his comments and then tempo is like who are you and then dev gets all like mad he's like i was the original owner respect me and then i think tempo like gets mad at him or something like i don't know who the hell you are so you know where this is going to go so then the next day comes i like just go to school and everything's fine and then in my last period of class i get a message from dev on facebook right now i still have him on facebook he doesn't really play xbox anymore i'm pretty sure i'm gonna get this out right now i don't hate the guy i actually really like him he's like one of the coolest guys i've ever met online and one of the best leaders honestly you know what i'll put on the screen right now what he actually sent me So yeah, that's what he sent me. I couldn't read it obviously because I was in class. I couldn't really do anything about it. So he sent a message to me on Facebook and I like glanced on my phone and like in my head I was like, what the heck was that? And I just kept thinking about it. And then I came home, I tried logging onto the legacy channel and it's gone. I tried to log in and it says there's no channel that exists. I was like freaking, I was like, no way. And then I remembered, oh, Dev sent me a message on Facebook. And then it said in the message as you read that he deleted the channel. I was like, no, all this work I put into the team and it's gone. I think I was with the team for like a year and a half or something like that. I put six episodes out on the team too. I just grinded so much for the team and like I loved everyone in it. To be honest, I didn't even know he had all the passwords and everything for the channel. Because I think the channel was like connected to his email and phone. So that's probably how he actually got into the channel. But yeah, that's the past. That's the, actually the real reason why he got rid of it. It was all because I guess Tempo disrespected him. I honestly don't know why it bothered him so much that Tempo didn't know who he was. The reason why I didn't want to talk about this right when it happened is just because, I don't know, maybe he would have got mad at me for talking about it. Like Dev is who I'm talking about honestly if the team was still running i think i would have a lot more fun sniping the reason for that is just because i love the team so much and everyone was so chill like i said already and all the players were so good also there's actually a legacy going on right now i didn't really like give permission they kind of just did it it's legacy district if you want to go check them out you can i have no idea if they're uploading but i have no part of that because just to me it's not the same legacy the whole team is all new people and you're probably asking are you ever going to make a team i would remake legacy but i don't know just because i don't have the resources to get it as big as it 
was. So that's kind of the reason why I don't really want to do it. But yeah, that wraps up the video. I just reacted to my fourth episode last video and I was just thinking like legacy and like why not talk about it? I'm staying solo for now, obviously. I'm not joining any teams. Ever since Legacy ended, I only joined one team, which was S6. And then I left just because it just got boring and like I had no fun. I just wasn't the same as Legacy. Legacy was just so chill. But as always, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like if you didn't. Yeah, peace.